Okay, this mess of parts on my table is essentially the CR10 V2, um, or what's left of it after I took it apart. And I have printed the Thingiverse uh, direct drive mount. Uh, big shout out to the creator of that. Um, I'll type his name in the comments below. And yeah, I made that. It took about five or six hours. This is just white standard PLA, good quality. Prints are going good. Um, but I want to print in TPU and TPE and stringy, rubbery things like that. Um, basically, I've been having a bit of a difficulty getting this thing back together until I kind of figured it out, I guess. Um, what you need to do is when you're putting it all back together, the two things that are important are, um, those are Chinese finger traps, essentially, for the Bowden tube. And, um, basically, the Bowden tube still is there, but it's just very short. I, I didn't measure the exact distance because each print will turn out to be a millimeter or two different, in my guess. I also annealed my, uh my uh my adapter in the oven um at actually a pretty hot temperature uh, hotter than normal so mine has warped a little bit but it's still fine um it's still just a very short bowden tube system so i'm not too worried about it and basically i came to a point where i was just how the heck do i actually fit this onto the bracket and everything works well so here's the shortcut show you that i came up with yeah, I know, I'm breaking some laws of physics by doing that, obviously. Um, left brain thinker. Then I just twisted it around. And then I first installed the bottom corner screw. Uh, bottom right corner screw. And then I didn't really... It's unthreaded, so you can just pull it through there. But the other one's threaded, so you have to... Get that little screw in there, and then you gotta thread that up. And then I put it up to its maximum thread, and I know it's a tensioner screw, so I'm gonna have to figure that out after. But one thing at a time, no do to boot it. Um so I mean basically if you've made it this far and you're like, how do I put this thing back together? Because this has kind of got me stumped for a little while. This is how you do it. So basically from here. Motor goes back through, and you use that screw down there at the bottom, and you mount that sucker first. So, I'm going to get back at it. And I don't have a cameraman, so you just get the tips. So it's all assembled. <laughs> um, I'll put in the comments below the designer of the bracket. This is the CR10 V2, and this is the bracket C Reality should have probably designed and shipped out to its customers, but they probably just uh, decided to wait for the community to get cheesed off and design their own, and then they'll start shipping those out uh, eventually if you complain. I read somewhere in a forum that if you complain, they now will actually send you something. However, it'll probably just be a 3D printed version of this. Um, <clears throat> basically, you disassemble it while it's over here. Don't be afraid. Disassemble it down to the spring and everything being apart. It's fine. You'll be able to put it back together later based on the instructions that I'm about to give you. Um, what I would first do, the first bolt, once you've got the motor over on the bracket here and poking through, and then you take the back plate from this, and uh, based on the instructions when I show you how to mount the first two screws, mount that bottom right screw. The next screw that you install, there's a very specific order of installation on this, um, is the... Uh, left um, mounting screw for the motor. The third one, and remember at the time when you put the third one back on, the spring and this don't have to be there and probably shouldn't be. Um, you can put in the third screw and then what you want to do is you want to put the, uh, the spring back on and then you want to kind of put that fourth screw and I believe the correct order of installation is uh, is a bearing uh, washer and then screw 
and I just tightened it back up. I did that. I really took this thing apart trying to kind of just discover how to get this done. As for length of the Bowden tube, it's kind of, um, I didn't actually measure it. It was kind of a process between me and my micrometer and test fit. And I probably cut about three different wrong pieces of tube and so on and so forth before I got it right. Um, those are Chinese finger traps. Just be aware of that when you're disassembling it, that basically any tube that you put in will not ever go the other way. And we've got two of them on a line. That means you're gonna have to cut it somewhere in order to get those things off. Um, so that's a little warning about it. The last thing is that um, basically what I'm gonna do for power, for the extension for the extruder, is I've cut out some cable that comes off of, sorry, this is the cable that comes off of the printer, and it's four, four strands, so it's not a big deal just to basically put four strands of wire in there and tape them up together electrically. It'll be kind of bulky and fat, the ones I picked, but um, I didn't have anything thinner, so we're going with the uh, stranded of course, always make sure that your uh, wiring is stranded for these kind of jobs because of the flex. And so basically, I'm going to clip that in half, and then I'm going to do a solder job on all the tip ends. I'm going to cut this extender in half. Boy, aren't I feeling adventurous. And uh, I just basically zip tied that in there so that it doesn't hit the frame badly on each stroke. The wires are just kind of pointing to the right, facing the front. And when they go to the other extreme, well, they'll hit the limit of the wire. But <laughs> as it goes, that's how she runs. And I'll just show you the wire splice that I did here. Is basically, I took the stock cable, I cut it in half, and very delicately. Strip all the wire ends, made contacts between copper and copper, and I made a solder joint on eight contact points for wires. And I took a very careful precaution to uh, make sure that all the wires lined up. So be very careful about uh, when you cut it. I, I made a system pin up, pin down, so I just put the uh, pin faces down means that the connector hooks for each of the end are, are facing up. And then I proceeded to methodically solder in wires of appropriate colors. I used a uh, uh, color tagging system as well. I have red electrical tape, so I tagged out a couple of them electrical. I put in uh, some shrink wrap there after I was all done on both ends. And it should be good night.